Hey everybody, welcome to our first ever Defective Marketplace. I got Jesse in the chat. She's going to be serving me up some incredible finds. <laughs> in one way or another. And I'm going to mm. pretend like I know how to use my computer and cut out every time I make a mistake. Remember when your dad had a goat named Jimmy? I remember Jimmy the goat. And you know, he was one of the ones that survived. Like, he went on to greener pastures. Mm -hmm. He also became somebody's muse. But he also picked up some tricks from your dad. The funniest thing about this is I got a little spoiled on this one. And, like, it's an actual thing. Go ahead and send me the link, and I'll tell you what it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy the Loaded Goat Stained Glass <laughs> is a reference to the Andy Griffith show. Jimmy the Loaded Goat is the name of the episode where a goat eats a box of dynamite, and they got to figure out how to use it. I thought that this goat was <laughs> bonging it up. <laughs> you saw that goat was getting, getting high. A shotgun. <laughs> Those were shotgun shells. <laughs> now, this is a diehard Andy Griffith fan who's made a stained glass window dedicated to an episode. 12 by 11. It's just like one foot by one foot. And it's sold. Yeah. This is this is actually this is quality stuff. The one the gray one looks more like he's just smoking a cigar though. That tasted bad and it took all of his color away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ew. Ew. So is the TV like Cyclops version? <laughs> Or do you think that when you're when it turns on, it's kind of got like um, split screen going on, so it feels a little bit more like eyeballs. <laughs> the TV makes me think of the skibbity toilet dudes. Hmm. And you would then definitely want to watch have that watching you on the toilet too. Lightning McQueen <laughs> looks like he's trying to mount a skibbity toilet guy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with wait. Either one. Chow. They're not. They're not. The Lightning they're, they're McQueen is a CD player. It's not attached to the TV. Oh. They're both. Nothing wrong with either one. Both for fifty. That's a steal. Okay. It's a better deal than it started off being. <laughs> That's a TV and a CD player. Fifty bucks for a great Cars fanatic. You probably could go to any thrift store and just see it in the garbage, though, honestly. <laughs> there is a dead bug, like, right beside of it. Included. Yeah, for is it 50... a tick? I don't it's, It just makes me not want to bring it into my house. I remember that Chad said that there used to be a smell that, like, cockroaches would make yeah when when it was in there i think there's a missed opportunity here with the pricing for the next for the next link okay all right what we got here <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> it's twenty dollars too expensive twenty dollars too expensive exactly because you're gonna be 69ing baby Yoda to get high. <laughs> Why? Is it plastic or is it ceramic? <laughs> That's important to me. Not the glass part. <laughs> the outer part. Because if that's ceramic, maybe it's worth it. I don't know. It looks like a mold. You think it's like 3D printed? <laughs> yeah, I think it's somebody 3D printed it and shoved the bong inside of it. And I hate the fact that... I love the fact that if you're going to be using this bong, you're going to be tugging Grogu off. Emphasis on the baby part. 
I didn't say baby. <laughs> I, I avoided it. <laughs> I don't. Uh, wow, why? why? <laughs> yes, but I'll be by. If it's ceramic, it has workmanships. I don't know what to say about this one, but honestly, I've seen worse deals on Marketplace. I've seen a worse deal today on Marketplace that so you we, have shown me. We did ask for great deals, horrible deals, and what the fuck items. Is is that Chucky on one side and Chucky on the other? Yes. There's so much art here. And you can also pull someone over still. <laughs> Not legally. Well, you can spotlight some deer legally with it at least. At the very least. <laughs> it would also, like, if you didn't see the the this horrific decoration. I'd get scared driving down the road with this behind me. With or without the lights that I mistook. But $4,500. Do you remember the thing you showed me earlier today? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, this car has they proved that it drove. I wonder if it comes <laughs> with the full set of donuts that they're doing donuts in and these larger 24s? That they clearly put it... Where do you even find an alley with this much graffiti to display your Chucky versus Chucky custom-wrapped car? Okay, read the seller's description. I have a <laughs> tablet TV. It have a 21-inch flip-down TV. It have star... Wait... It have a tablet TV. It have a 21-inch flip-down TV. It have star lights in the roof. Halo headlights. Color-changing light bar. So that is... It is... Cop impersonating. Because you could just make that blue. <laughs> tag... But also... Tag hind know. away... So, oh, God. Ta I, tag hide away... New battery, new starter, new alternator. So he's got work in the car. A three-inch lift kit ready for twenty fours. I took them off, so they don't. It doesn't come with the the actual tires. It needs front end alignment, but it was still doing those circles so well. There's no telling when the video was taken, based <laughs> compared to when he he took it. This is in D.C. This is the the our government. Capital. This could be a, a, a United States senator selling this Chucky versus Chucky car. It's the blurriest fucking picture of the TV. But you also <laughs> get a tablet with this. I also like that the rims are different per each side. I think, oh, wait. I think the tablet is just like where the radio is supposed to be. <laughs> the rims are sold separately. I really think that this guy could get into, like, vehicle customization work. <laughs> you can just fuck over a bunch of people like Exhibit did. <laughs> half the car is, like, Crime Stoppers. The other half is... Crime. Um, <laughs> daycare. A ride to daycare. <laughs> Don't understand why they took this one picture while blasting through speed bumps. <laughs> It hurts my eyes to look at it. This next one, I actually... I purchased myself for future. So I can confirm that this is a solid, good purchase from Marketplace. Okay. We don't get very many of those these days. Mm -mm. It wouldn't work for you, though. I'm too tall. 
Yep, you're too tall. I'm, I can't fit in an average size sarcophagus. I'm too tall and too wide. <laughs> Please see the pictures for the description. This thing is six feet tall on the outside, which means it's probably like 5'10 on the inside. You can totally hide in it and scare your friends. It's not as heavy as it looks. One person can pick it up. The price this is, is a somewhat... paper mache sarcophagus. It is. It's a paper mache sarcophagus for a thousand dollars. The price is somewhat arbitrary because this has no comparable prices. So just make an offer. <laughs> it's kind of thin. I might be too chunky to fit. Oh, um. There's a de- pick. There's a description on the back of the sarcophagus. This sarcophagus was built by Pete Hunt for the Dryden Foot Foo Fighters production of The Man Who Came to Dinner in 1992. The play was a great, great success. success. (laughs) But King Tut languished in storage for years in Dryden, New York. Until Chuck Brenner, who played four separate roles in the play, brought it to Hendersonville and restored it in August of 2007. Legend has it that the caretaker of the relic will have good luck always. Well, I don't believe that. Um, This is... Looks like it's... Yeah, you can see where it's been cut on the top. That it's just paper mache. I'm I oh wait I don't South Carolina Columbia. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I don't hate it as like a really unique decoration. I hate it. <laughs> like I think it would be cool for somebody to have this like in the corner of a room and like it would be an interesting story or conversation piece. This is not a thousand dollars. This also is not worth going to Columbia, South Carolina for any amount of money. Okay, this next one, it just has... I don't really see anything that they're selling. I just see some weird shadows. Or at least the things in here don't match what being described. I I can't see anything. There's like a chair and a workout table, but that's not what's for sale. Well, he promises that that it isn't a scam. I know it's really hard to see, but I promise there's a cross in this picture. It's completely camouflaged and you have to look very hard to find it. As you can see from my pictures, I was having a difficult time finding it myself. I thought maybe by making myself invisible, I could find the invisible cross. Unfortunately, I never did find the cross. I was camouflaged for so long that I lost myself. I forgot most of who I was before I went invisible. Remember, kids, eat your vegetables and take your multivitamins. Tony Hawk signing out. R.I.P. What? No. (laughs) Tony Hawk's in Paris now. He's fine. Don't, Don't do that. No, he's lost. He's lost, forgot himself. Basically doesn't exist anymore. I hate that I can zoom in the page, but the picture doesn't get much bigger. Alright, I can see a face floating in the air of the first picture, and that is not Tony Hawk, which is a great disappointment to me. I... I think it's hilarious that he's just like in the air. (laughs) Just his head. I'll give it a, you know, eight points for creativity and it's not a bad price for stained glass artwork. (laughs) If only it could be seen better. Does he die at the end? He's just face down. It's lost. 
in the sauce. You remember when Betty and Veronica uh, went on a crack bender? Yeah. Classic Archie Comics, circa 1989. It was supposed to uh, demonstrate to the kids reading the comics the dangers of harder substances and drugs, but all it really did was make it look more fun. It comes with a full-length comic book. That's awesome. I don't like that they've stared into the void. And the void stared back. It's fucking awful. It's so terrible. There's just not much more to say about that one. It's just... It's just them on crack. Like, that's all that it is. <laughs> what year did these dolls come out from Archie Comics that she has a laptop? Ugh. Every picture is a new jump, jump scare. I feel like uh, they're both very well dressed for um, asking me if I have some spare change. <laughs> I'm excited about the next one. In the box merchandise, forty-eight dollars for the pair. Not bad. Ships anywhere for nine twenty-five. It's a good. It's a good value. If you want nightmares, this next one is basically somebody bragging about how you could. They could have gotten a lot more money for it, but they sold it for real cheap. Does he hold your soap? He looks like he's asking for a tip. <laughs> Please, I just witnessed horrors. Can I have a tip? He was actually a human to begin with, but after years of smelling defunct, <laughs> he started to shrivel up. <laughs> it does have, um, like little guy in a fancy bathroom offering you moisturizers. <laughs> um the 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 sender suggested this would be a great toilet paper holder. I mean, great spare toilet paper holder. I mean, it would keep you from having to change out the roll on the roll holder. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I like that there's nothing else written except for the title. He is inconsistently buff. <laughs> he does a lot of arm and leg work, but no metal stuff. I don't even know how that's possible. Probably alien anatomy. Yeah, like he's alien anatomy ants for most things. But I, I just like that this beauty is sold, but I know someone can get them brand new for 150 But he sold it for 30 <laughs> yeah, I, I guess he bought it. How for, used maybe he, is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a hundred and twenty dollars used. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of use to to come off of anything of that's only two foot tall. Uh, this was recommended for one of our, um, well, for my wonderful, cute, hardworking husband. I don't know if he's in the chat, if he's watching this, but this this one really shows you how good of a deal the like the Chucky the Chucky Crown Vic was. Oh, a, a a Crown Vic for seven grand, mm -hmm. two thousand five Crown Vic twenty four Armani Forge rims, Deadpool grill. And hood. Hood and trunk are wrapped, can be removed. Daily driver, clean title in hand. P71 VIN located in Florence, South Carolina. Serious inquiries only. No way this hasn't been wrapped if they live in South Carolina. <laughs> well, they're in Florence. There's a chance. What oh. What does that say? Best Ford car. This is an award, an award-winning show car. There might be a better picture of the hood. There's a lot of pictures. Yeah, the interior is just like red 
so better. There's also a decal on the back glass that is covered in glare and clouds. <laughs> There's a better picture of the hood, kind of. That's a that's a sexy hood. The wrap job isn't terrible. I hate that they want seven thousand dollars for it, and they basically are like, "You can undo all of the cosmetic stuff that we're advertising," but they don't. There's no mileage. There's no like actual mechanical information. And there's no video of it driving around doing circles. Yeah, at least in Chucky the snow. versus Chucky got to um. Got had a video of it doing donuts in the snow. In the today's car market, though, this is too, this isn't a crazy price for a car, assuming that it runs, assuming that it doesn't have like over two hundred and fifty thousand miles on it. But I just can't imagine that it doesn't have severe problems. Other than the, it is the fact that it, it has it's got an award for best Ford car, maybe. Makes me think that maybe they took care of it, but I'm so skeptical. Okay. Keeping the last two, um, you know, like wraps in mind, the two last vehicles in mind, um, I won't, I just want to know how this one compares because this is the cheapest one so far, I think. Okay, we got a 2005 Chevrolet Tahoe. <laughs> it is on fire. <laughs> this is a hot car. <laughs> it runs a little hot. Description. In the description. Driven 236,000 miles. Total. Forever. Uh, it's got an automatic transition. It was... It says it, it blew interior... Blue on the outside, brown on the inside. I don't think it is anymore. It also probably doesn't get this gas mileage anymore. <laughs> That's fucking <clears throat> terrible. And they want $4,000 for it. I don't even think there's anything salvageable about it. It just looks like... Somebody used it as a recycling bin and it got cooked. <laughs> and I'm going to call BS on the limited edition midnight black interior. I can still see some beige in there. <laughs> All right. So this is what you could salvage off this car. Maybe the back doors. Maybe oh. like the back hatch. Back tires are not as melted as the front tires. Does it come? Most of the running board seems to be okay. If you if you need a running board, but you don't need like a good looking running board, your roof um, rack you can salvage the roof rack. But I feel like none of that adds. I can't think of anything else, and none of that adds up to four thousand dollars. And you might get three fifty four hundred scrap metal. All right, Allison. I know. I think that you're in the chat. We need like an estimate on what those windows that are intact might be worth to figure out. Like, is that some of the? Yeah, if you take the the back quarter panel, the the back windows, um, and the back glass out, what's the how much would that cost to get from a junkyard? Basically, because this is the same thing. 50 bucks a piece for each of the side windows is going to be 100 bucks and then 100 for the big back, back glass that we can't see if it's intact but I'm assuming that it is cuz the back end looks like it's fine. So that's $200 for the glass. We'll say another $200 for the, the back doors. Which is being mm. feels generous, like $100 a piece. I'm rounding up. Okay, it's starting to sound a little bit better. That tire looks like it's okay. That's it. We're at four hundred dollars. Both back tires. Flea. Mar I'm going to compare it to a flea market tire, which you get for like uh, thirty bucks to so sixty bucks for the back tires. We're at four four sixty. 
that back hatch is probably pretty sought after. I bet you could get um, $150, $200 for that, where it was round up to $600, and then 50 bucks for the roof rack, $650. You're practically making money now. You're only in the hole by like thirty three fifty, and then four hundred on the scrap metal. Whew. I don't even think. I don't even think that you can like relight it on fire, though. No, no, no. This is everything that could burn has burned. You'd have to light the back of it on fire. You'd have to open up the mm. back and light the back seats on fire. So it could potentially be a good bonfire thing, which is worth some money. Just have like a car burning party. That seems like something. I'm not for government regulation usually, but I don't think that should be allowed. (laughs) Also, if you set up like a hot mess, (laughs) definitely is. It's it was hot and is a mess. (laughs) 